Hi. This isn't the video I was planning on making today. Um, so this morning I was at a networking event and had some great conversations with some old and some new contacts. I came back to my desk, my mind was still churning through some of the conversations we had. Um, so I thought, oh, just to settle me down, I'll just watch a, a little bit of YouTube before I get onto some proper work. Political satire video, check. That was funny. Um, oh look, John Darko's got something new, wonder what that's about. Ah, uh, audio files are snobs, eh? Okay. So, watch that. And I found myself nodding along. And I watched it again. You know, he hits the nail well and squarely on the head um, about some of the problems and divisions that exist in the hi-fi and high-end audio world. Um, thanks, John. I, I think it needed to be said, um, and I agreed with everything. And it got me thinking about my own audio journey and why I do what I do now. So from those early days uh, demoing my first uh, hi-fi kit at a dealer, um, those I can't or I wouldn't be able to hear a difference people who hadn't really uh, listened to the items they were criticising. Um, the brand loyalists poo-pooing anything that isn't popular or is not commonly known about. Actually, I found the dealers, uh, for the most part, weren't so bad. Um, some of the customers though, mm, when I was a student I worked part-time for a short while in a hi-fi shop. Um, I remember one particular chap who came in uh, who would criticise um, the shop's products in, in front of customers. Um, there was nothing wrong with the kit at its price point, in fact it was pretty good stuff. Um, but he loved stating that he had a whatchamacallit and it's so much better. Yes it is, but it's also 10, 50, maybe 100 times the price. People have to start somewhere and as Mr Darko says, um, not everyone wants to spend huge amounts of money on this sort of thing. There's a quote from William Thackeray um, I stumbled over some time ago. Um, I think he was a 19th century author and satirist. And being British, Scottish, uh, I've always liked it. it um, it's, um, what is it? It's, it's impossible in our condition of society. It's impossible in our condition of society not to be sometimes a snob. I think he's right. Um, we all have potential to think that our little pet interest or, or knowledge or whatever is more important than someone else's. You know what? We all have areas where we're more knowledgeable than others. Um, in your own specialism, there are more likely than not others who are even more specialist than you are. Um, not everything needs to be a competition. We don't have to beat each other or come out on top about every subject. We can, dare, dare I say it, cooperate and learn from each other. So few things are purely black and white. There's, there's a grey area in the middle, um, an analogue scale if you like, uh, and in my experience, the truth is nearly always in the middle. Um, as John was saying, uh, sorry, it sounds like I'm, I know <laughs> I know him, I guess it's a familiarity of seeing him on, on, on YouTube so often. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Um, anyway, so what he was saying is we should be tolerant and understanding. We're not all in the same place. We're not all the same. Back to audio, we don't even all have the same hearing ability. Um, or even more to the point, we don't all listen for the same things, let alone care about them. Um, when I was younger, I think I may have been a bit of an autofile snob. Um, not in an aggressive or arrogant way, at least I hope not. Um, but if asked about my interest, I would say why I'm into, in into hi-fi and offer to help other people if, if they too had an interest. Um, I don't think I ever pushed it down anyone's throat. I got that it wasn't mainstream and others didn't get it. Um, so it was my thing um, and I probably shared that with two or three friends. 
over the years, I think I've mellowed even further to the point where I didn't mention it. I built up quite a bit of knowledge in the space. Never, never enough, of course. We can we can always learn something. Um, and combined with my electronic and other technology skills, I guess I'm kind of handy and useful. Um, but I wasn't talking to anyone about it. I didn't want to get involved in the various audio web forums because there always seemed to be people on a witch hunt uh, actively looking to cause unnecessary grief. Um, which again comes back to what John was saying. The intolerance was blatant and it, and it put me off contributing. You should, we should be welcoming, not unfriendly. So I've had thoughts on pivoting to do something in high-end audio for, for a number of years. And this Modify channel, which I started a year ago now, is, is I guess, the start of that. Um, it's my take on value-led high-end audio. The support I give to Modify customers, uh, the DIY kits and my own future designs. Um, watch this space, one day. Uh, <laughs> apart from me doing something a bit different to help uh, and encourage people to get more value out of their audio kit um, and enjoy the music more. So I feel like I've just had a rant, um, but I just felt I needed to say it and I hope it wasn't negative in any way. Um, it's definitely a wholehearted and positive response to, to what John was saying though. My take on the same problems, and that is partially shaped um, what I'm doing here with Modify. There's a phone, it's ringing. Okay, note to self, put phone on Do Not Disturb before shooting YouTube videos. Okay. Um, so, Modify is a fledgling, uh, both as a channel on YouTube um, and on the business side. But the feedback I'm getting is encouraging and I, I'm really grateful to, to my subscribers and customers for their, for their kindness and support. That's the way it should be. Um, if what I do here is not for you, that's fine. Move on. Um, change the channel, as we used to say. There's no need for any of us to be rude, snobby, or aggressive. And again, I support John Darko in his, in his stance. Um, thanks for taking the time to, to watch this video. Uh, I hope you got something from it. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, and if my approach sounds like your cup of tea, as we Brits say, um, then have a look around at my other videos and I hope to interact with you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. You'll see me next time.